Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? Easy P Money Man here. Welcome back to the channel. You feel me? And on this one, I'm just finna uh, do do some talking, cause I just wanna talk about what's going on right now with this rap dude, nine Takashi Six Nine. You know what I mean? Takashi Six Nine. Everybody know about him. You know what I'm saying? I listen to a little bit of his music or whatever. YouTube artist. You feel me? If you don't know about him, here YouTube artist came out of nowhere in my opinion, but this where a lot of rappers come from these days. You feel me? So. Takashi 69, you feel me? Takashi 69, he cool, you feel me? Takashi 69, he had good music, but the whole thing right now, everybody know he's snitching. You feel me? He started banging blood, you feel me? He paid his way to be blood, and he started banging blood or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And this coming, my opinion, is coming from a dude. I think I, I came from a rough neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Poor neighborhood or whatever, typical black. You know what I'm saying? Low income family or whatever. Single mama, uh, three kids. My mama was making like 7,000 a year at the hospital. You feel me? So that's how I came up or whatever. So I done did little stuff, you feel me? To get to where I'm at. But you know, the goal of a real street cat, you feel me? The goal of us for real always is to get out the streets. The ones who grow up and go into the streets, those are the ones who were in most of our opinion, especially mine, were spoiled as children, you know what I'm saying? They got everything they wanted, you know, they saw the stuff on TV, they got the stuff on TV, regardless of if their parents could afford it or not. You know what I mean? Because that happens a lot in the black community, in low income, that's why a lot of people stay poor, because, you know, they spoil their kids, even though they poor, you feel me? Like, they might be renting a apartment, you feel me? They rent the apartment, but their kids got the brand new J's, polos, haircuts, earrings, all this shit. Not saying you don't get your kids haircut, but, you know, they had a little kid. They can let their hair grow, you know, then you ain't got to get their hair did like a man would every week or every two weeks. You feel me? The court on how the kids' hair grow, you feel me? But, you know, they are, they, I mean, uh, nowadays the kids are spoiled a lot, you feel me? They get spoiled a whole lot. So, with that happening, these kids are growing up privileged. And they seeing the stuff on, they been getting everything else off TV, so why not get your whole life off TV? You feel me? I know people who had good uh, uh, upbringings and chose to be in the streets. I know people who got it all or whatever. You feel me? Catching charges, they can't beat and shit. So, you know, that comes back like people who are not black, you know what I'm saying? And when I say black, I'm talking about skin tone. You feel me? And, and I hate to be the one to say it, but even sometimes our light-skinned brothers or our mixed brothers can slide through the cracks. But us, this color, this her, you feel me? Nigga, this, this is rough. You know what I'm saying? Like, this lifetime's 9,000, you feel me? So, we pushed in a lot of situations. We are denied a lot of shit and pushed in a lot of situations because of this. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how people feel or whatever, you know what I'm saying? This shit is proven. They have done social experiments, all sorts of experiments. This shit is proven. So, <clears throat> you know, with him being of the Hispanic, you know what I mean, people, you feel me, and trying to get caught up in our system of gangs or organized crime or organizations or whatever, you feel me? The Bloods are, I don't think they're an organization. I literally think they are a gang. But... Even still, you feel me, like, a Hispanic getting caught up in that, something like that, he should be, he, he should be something like a Sorrento or something like that, Norento, Nor Norento, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to disrespect nobody, I just don't know how to pronounce it, because this shit ain't in Memphis, you feel me, only thing we got in Memphis, we got ALK, we got Len King, but we ain't got no, it was one Sorrento, something like that, dude, I know, I think he wore blue, I think he wore blue or something, I can't remember, but, there was one dude I knew he was from Cali. So, you know what I mean? That's what he should have been. That's what most Mexicans are. They Sorrentos or Norentos or Latin Kings. You feel me? That's what they are. But, you feel me? This dude chose to be, to ride with them bloods and stuff. So, he got himself caught up in some shit that he don't understand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, coming from where I come from, you feel me? We see a nigga like you, nigga, you automatically a send out anyway. You feel me? Like, you automatically a send out. You automatically a do boy. You automatic, that's you. Just from the way you look and you carry us. First of all, you ain't put in no work. You paid to get on the set, nigga, we taking your money and we sending you out to do all sorts of weird shit. And you gonna be the one who bring the money to the set. You feel me? 
you're going to be the one bringing money to the city. Nobody else, you feel me? We're going to be dependent on your way. And you're going to be happy to get it because you just happy to be a part of the set anyway. So that's what this fool didn't got caught up in. You know what I mean? So they talking about him snitching and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, nigga. What? It was our fault for letting him infiltrate our structure. You feel me? This is a black thing. You feel me? Black people created the Bloods and the Crips and the... All the the street gangs, you know what I'm saying? They say the government created it, but if they did, nigga, we govern it. You feel me? So when you get yourself caught up in our stuff, and you don't know nothing about it. That that's on you. But us accepting you was on us. You feel me? Because we should never even roll. We should have been like, bro, hell, now they just like it's just like a white brother trying to join the vice lords. Come on, bro. Yeah, it was a white brother back then, but guess what? This shit is frowned upon. You feel me? This shit is friend. You got your own thing. Go be KKK or whatever you want to be, bro. Just don't try to infiltrate our structure and then, you feel me? You get cool with us, brainwash some of us, infiltrate our structure, and now, you know, you a part of us and some go down. You telling. It don't work like that. You feel me? Like, I just watched the video. His girl, his, his baby mama on there, she, she feel it. She like, man, when I saw the paper, it was one thing. But when he got up there and started snitching, it was a whole nother thing because you feel it. It's real, man. You can't. It, this stuff is real. Everybody take this shit for a joke until it happened. Like she said, those other people, that's they like. We have to live this shit. We been saying, my damn, the first person died that I knew, nigga, I was 12, nigga. 12. 12 years old, bro. That's the first time anybody died close to me. My, my classmate, 12, nigga. Next year, 13, 14. And they just been dying ever since, nigga. Dying ever since two, three a year, nigga. Y'all don't grow up like that. Y'all don't grow up like that. Everybody in one bed, bro. Y'all might grow because you Hispanic. Y'all might grow up like that, but guess what? We got different values and different things that we stand for, and your people do too. You feel me? Why you scared to be a part of y'all set? Cause y'all set is a little bit more structured than our set. I said it's more commercialized nowadays. Y'all, y'all stuff ain't even really commercialized. So it's still kind of tight knit. You should have been a part of that, bro. Don't come trying to infiltrate our stuff. But like I said, I put a lot of fault on us because we should never even let that shit happen at all. Like that should never even happen, bro. We should never let dude in the set. And now he's snitching on everybody. Yes, bro. Yes, he should have snitched because he's now not. He should have snitched. Yes, he was gonna snitch. No, he should not have snitched. You gotta keep it real. Once you win this shit, you win it, nigga. You win it to win it, nigga. I try to explain this shit to, to, to normal citizens every day, but they don't get it. You feel me? They don't get it. It ain't for them to get. You feel me? Because they ain't part of the shit. So when you get a part of this shit, nigga, you gotta live this shit. And for you to snitch, you... you I know it's hurting you, bruh. This shit eating you up. Like, it wasn't nothing when you were sitting in that fucking cell just chilling. But now you up on that stand, you got a real deal. Oh, he did it, he did it, he did it. You pun motherfuckers out, bro. It hurt you. I know it's burning your soul. You, every time you say it, you like, damn. This man might smoke me. He might smoke my family, rape my girl, kill my kids. You know what I'm saying? That's what you jeopardizing, bro. Like, this is a selfish ass move. I don't even see how your baby mama rocking with you. I guess she just wants some clout. You feel me? So she can make sure she in a good position to get the fuck out of Dodge when you get your goofy ass out, if you get out. But now that you done told, man, I'm sure she already out of Dodge. But she probably trying to get her money up because she, she know. She said on the video, she like, bro, I don't agree. I wouldn't do those shit like that. <laughs> she said it on the video. She was like, I wouldn't do no shit like that. That's his decision. You feel me? So, you nigga, you got to stand on this shit. So, what I'm saying is, man, it shouldn't be a question in the air about this shit. Like, is he snitching? They going back to court tomorrow to talk about it. So, you feel me? Like, I mean, for him to testify some more and it'll be more to talk about, you know what I'm saying? But right now, you know, and then he done brought Trippy Red in. Bro, them folks finna be on Trippy Red. Yeah, them folks finna have Trippy Red trying to do the same shit. So, Trippy, my, unfortunately, my nigga, you gonna you have to, from, from this day forward, bro, Keep your shit tight knit, bruh. Clean old fool. Clean, bruh. Because them folks finna be on your ass, boy. The feds is on your ass, boy. And you been out here gangbanging, nigga. They got videos of you fighting, talking shit. 
Nigga, this shit still on the internet, bro. This shit ain't gone nowhere. So, your ass finna have to be, bro. I'm talking about keep it in line, fam, bro. Keep it in line, cause them folks finna be on your ass, boy. Real talk. I don't give a fuck if you see it or not, nigga. Shit finna be happening weird in your fucking life, man. This nigga done brought a nigga up, ain't got shit to do with it. But that, that tripping fault. Why the fuck you gonna make a video with a fucking rainbow red trying to play it off like, oh no, it was just a creative. Come on, bro. You need to be 100 and speak on shit you do. Just be 100, nigga. You in the streets, nigga. You somehow you got into it, nigga. So you in this shit. So you got to stand on that shit till you put a red with rainbow her in your video, nigga. Be hundred, be one hundred. Cause when he went to court, that nigga said Trippy Red Five Nine Brim, nigga. I didn't even know your set, and I've been listening to your music probably about two, three years, nigga. I know you say it in your music, but I don't hear that shit, nigga. I heard beating, you singing, hollering, screaming, all that crazy shit, nigga. This nigga straight up said Trippy Red Five Nine. Brim, nigga. I know your set, nigga. These fuck on your ass, nigga. He ain't had to bring you up, but you did that shit. Karma, bro. I don't know why you keep doing this shit, bro. You make better music than this, nigga. He was just hot with rainbow hair. Like, bro, leave that shit alone, fool. Leave that shit alone, bro. Nigga, you make better music, bro. You make better music than this, man, bro. You will be. You will be a much better artist if you didn't have all that fucking hate built up in you, bro. About Whatever, it's probably cause your lips, cause your lips look funny as hell. Folk probably be checking the shit out your head growing up. You feel me? That's why you be trying to look like a fucking monster now. But I fuck with you though, bro. I mean, just put a little makeup over that shit, bro. Go have lip surgery or some shit. Cover that shit up so you won't be so insecure and have all that hate. Because all that hate and got your head caught up with the feds, man. He didn't say your name. You fucked up. So you better not snitch on the set, nigga. You bet not, and I ain't no blood, but you bet not snitch on the motherfucking set, nigga. You keep it real. You been out here banging. You whooping niggas ass for this shit. Talking about you got jumped in in Atlanta or some weird ass shit. Bruh, keep it 100, fool. Keep it 100, bruh.